While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. Hey, in this video, we're going to be talking about what causes ticking, tapping, and knocking in your diesel engine. I get a lot of comments on my channel comments section about my diesel engines making a ticking sound or a knocking sound or a tapping sound. What can that be? Where do I look? So I had a truck that came in this week and it had that complaint. So I figured I'd make a video about it. Um, it can be a lot of things, but we're going to kind of go through in this video, you know, what it can be. Is it something I need to be concerned about? Um, how quickly does it need to be repaired and what to look for? Okay, hope you enjoy the video. So this engine came in with a ticking complaint and it had a high crankcase pressure. And you can really hear the ticking. It's um, The sound you're hearing sounds very much like an exhaust leak. So you can hear it that's and you can kind of tell that it's a some sort of valve or exhaust leak because it seems to be about half engine speed the ticking sound now we're looking for an exhaust leak and they are apparent real quick you'll see black soot almost looks burned um, wherever the leak is they can be by the exhaust manifold by the turbos anything you usually see them right away but i couldn't find one on this engine so even though it sounded like an exhaust leak, I pulled the valve covers and started looking for valve train damage. Now, if you look at the rollers here, you see the lines on them. Uh, those should not be there. That kind of indicates that these rollers are starting to become worn. They are not bad yet, but usually once you start seeing the lines, the hard facing comes off. So we're looking at our valves here. That's, uh, you know, cylinder one, two, three, four. And number five, look at that exhaust valve. It looks a little different than the other ones, wouldn't you say? Do you see how it's burned, covered in soot and carbon, unlike the other ones? So it is an exhaust leak. It's actually burned through the valve seal and the valve guide, and it's pushing exhaust into the engine under the valve cover. So we will run it here, and you can really hear it now. And that valve is possibly damaged you would probably want to remove the head this engine had quite a few miles on it and um, probably time for a rebuild uh, lucky you didn't drop a valve yet on this one now this was another engine but it had a ticking sound and this was the cause of the other engines ticking sound the broken bolts for the iva jake housing and rocker arms uh, that can also cause a ticking sound and this actually had a weak cylinder, which helped identify which cylinder was ticking. So that engine showed that that ticking sound was an exhaust leak, but an exhaust leak into the engine, opposed to normally an exhaust leak. You're looking on the exhaust manifold, the turbo flanges, you're looking for damaged exhaust manifold studs, something like that. Um, that one with the damaged valve guide there and valve seal probably has a damaged valve. You would want to pull that head. Um, now, usually that is possibly rebuildable, but usually we put a new head on it. That engine had, you know, closer to a million miles. It was probably due for a rebuild anyways. Um, now, usually when you pull in a, a valve cover, you're looking for damaged valve train components. That's the other leading cause of ticking sounds so you're looking for you know i showed the rocker arm shaft was broken you could have damaged bolts uh holding the rocker arm shaft down you could have broken rocker arms camshaft damage uh bent push rod uh thrown push rod usually if you have a damaged push rod it's indicating that you have a problem with a rocker arm or a lifter potentially a camshaft the push rods usually don't bend themselves. Now, this was a C15, so no push rods. But if you're running any of Cat's other engines, you know, a C13, C9, C7, those are all push rod engines. And you'll want to try and inspect the lifters 
and camshaft if you do have a damaged push rod. So those are the other main sources of ticking sounds. Now you might have a knocking sound or a possible ticking sound that's kind of coming from the bottom end. If you have that, you need to try and figure that out as fast as possible. Now any ticking sound is important to have fixed as soon as possible because it can cause much bigger damage. You know, if you have a damaged rocker arm or camshaft, while those aren't usually cheap, if you catch them early enough, it might cause, it might keep it from, say, dropping a valve, which then you're talking some real expense. Now, if there's a ticking or knocking sound on the bottom end, you know, it sounds more like the oil pan or it's a deeper sound. Well, those are usually bearing related, crankshaft, something like that. Um, those you also want to have checked out right away. Um, if if you do have a sound that's not you're not used to hearing and it's on the bottom end, I advise you to pull your oil filter and cut it open. Look at the accordion filter membrane in the oil filter and look for metal. Um, there's always one or two specks in that filter membrane, but if you've got a lot of metal, especially any bearing material, beer, ah, bearing material. Well, then you're gonna to wanna to get that engine torn down as soon as possible because you don't wanna throw a rod or spin a bearing, although you might have already. Um, you know, that's a that's a quick and easy tell if you have a loud um, knocking sound on the bottom end or a ticking sound that you can't find, you know, cut that filter up and look for that. Now there's another type of ticking, tapping sound that some engines get and it's not mechanical related. So these are all mechanical we've talked about so far. You know, exhaust, an exhaust leak is mechanical because you have a leak. So there's something wrong with the ceiling surface and it's allowing air to escape. And what we're talking about now is fuel knock. So some engines will get a fuel knock at different load, RPM. It's usually caused by one or more bad injectors. And what the injector is, it's firing usually at the wrong time. And that could be causing a fuel knock. So what's happening with a fuel knock? Well, the injector's firing fuel either a little too early or a little too late. And it, it kind of misfires. And it'll give you a knocking sound when you're not used to hearing it. Um, now, if you're getting smoke, you can try doing a cutout test if you have access to that and try to identify which cylinder it is. You could also try removing the exhaust manifold. Um, if it does it at, say, a certain RPM, you know, rev it up. See if you can find out which hole is, you know, usually it'll, wit, it'll emit like a white smoke if it is a fuel knock. Um, now, also, I get a question on 3126s a lot. And it's, hey, this 3126 has a weird knock noise under heavy to medium to heavy acceleration. And I would say if you're used to the truck and it's always done this, that's kind of indicative of 3126s. They have a weird fuel knock to them. Um, now, if it's a new sound you're not used to, get that checked out. But I call 3126s clackily. I know that's not a word, but... That's kind of how they sound when they're under medium to heavy acceleration. Sometimes they have a, a weird injector clack. That is, uh, that's just how they fire. And I've seen several 3126s like that. So say if you just bought a 3126, you had it checked out, everything seems okay. It, it might just be how it sounds. I wish I had a recording of what it sounds like. We don't have it in the shop right now. Um, so that's kind of discussing, you know, what to look for if your engine's ticking or knocking or tapping um you know what it can be what the causes can be you know if it is pull those valve covers it's easy to do on pretty much every engine and you're just looking for big damage um, usually you can see it without removing any components um you know try to get it fixed as soon as possible because usually tickings turn into bigger damage okay thanks for watching the video